as Coronation Street gears up for its 60th anniversary, they've been digging around in the archives to celebrate some of the soap's most loved characters and moments. And frankly, after 25 years on the cobbles, there's a lot of uh, iconic Roy Cropper stories to choose from. And actor yeah. David Nielsen, who plays Roy, joins us now. What a pleasure Hi. to talk to you. How are you? Good morning. Really, really well. Thank you. What, uh, what I love is, uh, we're watching those clips, um, is the fact that you were only supposed to do six episodes in the first place. <laughs> That's right, that's right. Uh, it's, it's amazing. But, I mean, he was a good character. I mean, he was certainly a good character on the page, and I thought there was a, there was a bit more in it. Uh, but 25 years is... <laughs> I wasn't expecting. Was there a moment where, where you thought, when you're playing the character, actually, he's, he's a fixture here, this is the, this is the moment that he's become um, almost un, un, unmissable, unlosable? Well, I never thought that. Really, but I, I did think when I read it, um, this is a good character and it's right up my, without the pun, street. I, I mean, I enjoyed playing him. And there was always um, an element of who is he? What's he up to? Is he, is he dangerous, you know, or is he, is he benign? So um, as it happened, I managed to, to move it round to, for him to be more of a fixture. But it's, it's really weird. I never really thought of, oh, I'm, I'm here for forever, but... 25 years is a bit well, like I think when you get when you've got Roy's roles when you've actually got your own place then that's you know that's got to be yeah. the moment that's right because even if you're not there you're you're kind of there yes <laughs> absolutely you're, you're in the street and um, he's really I mean he, on the street he's really loved you know he's sort of a different person to so many different people actually but as a, as a viewer as well we just love him he's just a, he's just a really good guy isn't he <laughs> Yeah, I wish I was more like him. Um, yeah, I mean, I think what happened with, because he was such a, a stalker and a, bit, and a bit dodgy or seemingly, he couldn't then become just ordinary. He always had that sort of uh, strangeness to him or individuality, not strangeness. So as, as far as I see the world, most people are like Roy. Uh, it's just ahead of his time. Mm -hmm. And he had a bag for life before anyone else. He did. And he's always, he did. always been social distancing. <laughs> <laughs> but he took because uh, you're, you're right. He did have a sort of a sinister feel to yeah. him at first, and then then you know that that shed away. But he's also taken other characters under his wing. Carla Fizz, Shona, yeah. recently Nina, all taken under his wing. He's gone for the the sort of damaged characters, hasn't he? I think there's a mutual attraction there between them. And there was, there was also a thing with Roy and Haley that they took people in because they couldn't have family of their own. So that's where that came from. And the great thing about the character and the, and the writing of the character is because he's is actually, well, he's now alone, they hook him up with various people. And at the moment, um, having a no very nice relationship with Evelyn, uh, Maureen Littmer, which is yeah. just such a joy. And I've got Nina in the cafe now. But, yeah, all, all the way through, I've been very lucky with the people I've, I've had to come, you know, work with. Because it's not really work, it's, it's fun. Did you worry about where the character was going to go after Hayley? Because, I mean, personally, I loved their relationship together, how they were. I mean, when, when she passed away, I mean, you literally had to scrape me off the floor. It was one of the saddest things I've <laughs> ever seen. That um, scraped me off the floor. I know, I know. But then you think, right, where <laughs> can we go? What can we do with him? And yet... There was this whole other world, this whole other side to him, this sort of mourning side, I guess, actually, that came out. Yeah. I mean, I did, I, it's credit to, to the writers, because these shows, you know, you lose your part, lifelong partner one day and you're getting married in, a, you know, three weeks' time. They gave the character proper, proper mourning time, proper... Because they were the only two people for each other. That yeah. was the whole thing about these two characters. There was no one else in the world for them. So it was a major, major thing. And they, they did proper, it was like three years. And, you know, he had a relationship with Kathy and actually was going to get married because he promised Hayley he would get married. All these peculiar Royisms. Um, so, so, yeah. And also, when, when Julie went, uh, it was like, um, OK, what now? It, it's, it's like it opens up other possibilities. So... No, it's it's been great. It's an evolvement. It's like you know, life. The thing is, when you're in a show like this, in when you start in it, you don't know who you're playing. You don't know how it's how it's gonna, you know. You could be a mad axe person or you know anything, uh, and it just evolves. A bit like, a bit like life. Yes. Well, I mean, the thing is now, you're iconic. You are iconic, which is why you were, <laughs> which is why you were on the telly tonight at eight thirty on ITV. Absolutely. absolutely. It's it's uh, iconic, well, Roy. Well, I looked up iconic 
and it's an uncritical worship of something. And I can't get my wife to agree. She just won't go along with it. I'm not... <laughs> Well, if, um, if, if you were to, to select a role from Roy's roles, it, well, is there one that you would choose? Well, now you see, it. Uh, I think it depends on the time of day. Because, I mean, breakfast time, you know, it's going to be probably meat and, you know, bacon or sausage. But if um, a, perfect, a perfect role for me would be wholemeal bread, uh, smoked salmon, cucumber, lemon, squeeze a lemon, uh, a bit of lettuce... A bit of tomato, mayo, and a glass of something white oh, and chipped. It's a bit posh, David, isn't it? We we put our order in from Roy's Rolls, and I've got a couple of <laughs> I've got a couple of bacon. Yours rolls. is what, really good. What I've got oh, yeah, chicken, you will, you will. chicken, avocado, and bacon. Yeah, I mean oh, that yeah, is very nice. avocado. Yes, that yeah. squid. Yeah, <laughs> lovely. Where's mine? Where's mine? Um, too posh for us. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, it's really lovely to see you. Um, Icons, the programme that we're talking about, is tonight at 8.30 on ITV and it's going to be really brilliant, a little exploration and a celebration of the life of Roy. So, Thank, thank you, you, David. Thank you very much. Nice thank to talk you. to you. Thank, thank you. Bye-bye.